So I told you there are two keys to experiencing the power of God. Number one is your faith. Number two, listen carefully. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. There are many times people do not receive, frankly speaking, not because they do not have faith, but the vessel that God is using has not built capacity in the spirit through death to the flesh, through the sacrifice of consecration, through impartation, through intelligence, to rise to a level of the anointing that can solve the problems of the people. It's true. Listen, there are different tanks, tanks, T-A-N-K-S, tanks that we put water. We have different calibrations to them. They are small tanks, medium, giant tanks. If you have a small tank, it can only serve a few people. So the problem is not the, the tap. The problem is that the tank that is connected to the tap, are we together? can only give its limit. Is that true? So there are times the problem is not the tap. The tap is ever ready to be opened. But the major problem is the tank. The capacity of the vessel is small. Not the capacity of God. Remember I taught you that spiritual resources flow from God through men, through a vessel. That is the reason why God continues to work on us vessels so that our capacity is enlarged. So that if there is anything that your level of spiritual development could not capture from heaven to release to God's people, by the next time you show up, you would have grown an expanded capacity. It means that there are many men of God and many spiritual leaders that God will judge them. Because God will say, someone's healing. This person kept believing. But the problem was not the person's lack of faith. The problem is you as the man of God refused to grow in a greater level of the healing anointing so that you are able to solve the problem. I have told you that the anointing works like money. If you have a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars is about 69, 70,000. And you have 70,000 Naira. If someone is hungry, you don't need to be afraid. Because... For a, 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 a regular, you will be able to buy something within that amount. But if what the person needs is a vehicle, you will need maybe five million plus and the rest to get the car. Now, you have money, but your money is too small relative to the need of the person. Are we together now? Yes. Let me illustrate something and I begin to pray. Let me have, who can I have? Come, my friend. Any gentleman? The gentleman on black. Don't worry, you sit. Come. Let me use him. Watch this. Watch this. Now, let's assume this, my dear one here, came with all kinds of issues. Financial issues. Please look up. Headache, for instance. Are we together? Family problems, yokes, curses. He came to Koinonia for miracle service, expecting to receive. Now, this guy is full of faith. He's believed God and he's believed God's servant. So he's done his own part. Are we together now? Every problem in this man's life has a dimension of the anointing that solves it, just like money. Are we together now? So let me just use money for an example. I hope you will not be confused. Let's assume that, just for example, it takes 1,000 naira worth. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? 1,000 naira worth of anointing, just for want of expression. And it takes 5,000 naira worth to heal his hand. Are we together? To deal with the causes and the yokes. The administration of it now may take maybe 1 million naira worth. And to speak favor in his life may require 1 billion naira worth. Watch this. If my worth in terms of anointing is 500,000. And if I pray for this guy, it is only the condition that is below the level of anointing I carry that will be solved. So I can pray for him, be healed, cause his leave, financial doors be open, favor come. He can't get favor. It takes one billion. Now I've spoken what is above my level of grace. The Bible says minister according to the measure of grace. That means 
you have to know what you carry and what it can do before you speak so I prayed over five things in the man's life he will return with a testimony the headache was healed what about the financial situation nothing really happened how about favor well we're still believing God who failed here the vessel I will be too proud to admit it usually just give a flimsy excuse it's not God let God be true and every man a liar now watch this if I go and stay in the place of prayer in the place of the word and through impartation I now grow from 500,000 and by next miracle service I return with 50 million you see that worth of anointing or dimension of the anointing because of that size of the anointing there are things I will not even pray for you see that immediately they are too low relative to what you carry it will leave believe me now many things will change in his life except that favor dimension because favor will require that one billion dimension i will go back again otherwise what is the value of growing in grace i now grow in grace learn from those who have gone ahead receive impartation stay with god and then i rise to a point where i am five billion worth of anointing now let me show you how i will, I will be a blessing let's assume this guy were meeting me for the first time and all his problems are less than one million in a moment in the name of jesus that will be it so a man like baba deboe can stand and say in the name of jesus you now see what is happening nothing much but the problem is not just the speaking it's the size of the grace that is addressing the issues Apostle, what are you saying? Is this scriptural? Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus. Why would Jesus need to be anointed? How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about on the strength of that lavish anointing. There were some things that the disciples could not do at some point in their lives. But then eventually when they encountered power, listen, did you see the progression even of Peter's life? When Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, his shadow could not heal. He was standing near the guy at the beautiful. He had not gotten to that size of the anointing. So he had to prime his faith and hold his hand. But Peter got to a point where people lined up. He did not speak, it was his shadows. If it is true that we are growing in the spirit, that means a testimony that did not happen to you last month should be able to happen to you this month. It's true. That is why it is unfair and dangerous for a man of God to remain at the same spiritual level whereas activities just keep happening because you will be wasting the time of God's people and sooner or later they will discern that you have reached your limit spiritually they will respect you but they will leave you and go and look for what works members and human beings are not stupid they God has put this spiritual instinct in them they can gauge the size and the level of what anointing is confronting their situation and when they know that this situation that is plaguing this family is 10 billion naira worth of the anointing you come with 250,000 they will respect you just so that you will not um, feel bad but they will quietly go and look for solutions there were certain things I would never have seen in my life years ago because the level of grace that comes through knowledge, through impartation, through understanding, through encounters was not there to that degree. But thank God growth is a possibility in the kingdom. The version of you that started this year should not be the version of you that came. It will be evil of you if the, or evil of me if the level of anointing I came with last miracle service is still the same level of anointing I'm coming with now. What then was the need for putting a new one? But thank God that grace can be multiplied. How God 
anointed Jesus of Nazareth how God empowered Koinonia how God anointed Joshua Selman with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all you see when we know this are huh, it will grant us the humility to keep growing regardless the results we see this is one of the most uncomfortable messages you will hear as a man of God because it puts a lot of the responsibility over people's lifting on you because most people believe that they left their home to come is enough faith that they defied the rain and stayed from morning there are people who were here as early as 7 10 12 what demonstration of faith is greater than that let me assure you tonight that you will not be disappointed I'm taking out time to charge your heart because I want us to take all the limitations away so that we will allow the power of God to step in. You may be like this gentleman. You came with several prayer requests. You came with several needs. Please have no fear. God is alive. And he will visit you at the point of your needs. Let me talk about something one more minute. How 